sharp game here. I'm back at it. It's another video. I'm rolling. In this video, man, I'm gonna talk about why the good guys have a hard time and don't win with women. You know, maybe you used to be one of those guys, or maybe you're still one of those guys, like I used to be, that, you know, I thought I had to be a provider in order to uh, get the woman that I wanted. I thought I had to always be doing something. You know, you get a, you get a new car, get new clothes, you, um, you got the jewelry on, you're flossing, you know, you're, you're sweet macking the, the women in the club, you're buying bottles, you know, I never bought no house, I never went all out like that, I, I didn't do nothing that drastic, but I know guys, and I got cousins, family members that have went all out for women. And the women still didn't want to be with them. Still didn't want to be with them. After all the hard work and determination, you know, that they put in and sacrifice, the woman still didn't want to be with them. So I'm like, damn, how much does it really take to get a woman? This was my thinking in my 20s. Even as a teen, even when I was 19, this is my thinking. And, you know, this happens when you put women on a pedestal. Because we think that we have to do stuff because we get sucked in in this matrix in society. We get conditioned to be this way. And it's, you know, it's, we, I mean, we watch movies, you know, we, we watch these television shows, and that's what, that's what we see. So we think that's what it is in, in reality, in real life time. And that's just not what it is. It's, it just doesn't work out like that for most guys. I mean, if you want to be a trick, yeah, a woman will settle with you if you want to be a good provider, but every once in a while, she's going to slide off and get with that guy that's just going to hit it, and he ain't going to have to pay for nothing. He, he's not going to have to provide anything. All he's going to do is provide sex. That's the only thing he's going to provide. But you, on the other hand, you have to take care of the whole household. Then when it's time for you to get lame, and then when it's time for sex, you get the lame leftover sex. The lazy suck. No, that's what you get if you're trying to be, if you put women on a pedestal. That's what you get most of the time. And got a lot of guys don't talk about it, but that's what they, they, that's what most guys get. The lazy suck. Oh, I'm tired. I got a headache. Let's do it tomorrow. There's always a schedule or a certain time for everything. You know, seems like. But the guy that she slides off with is he ain't got no time. <laughs> Whatever. Whenever he calls, she rushes out to get with him. And this is what happens to a lot of guys. It happened to me. But the only difference between me and a lot of other guys, I never went too far with it. Because my motivation was to uh, make more money. My motivation wasn't to find the woman I wanted and get married and have kids and live happily ever after. I never looked at it like that. I never looked at life like that. I always looked at life was much bigger 
than just a woman or relationships or man and woman relationships. I always look at it like, of course, women are a part of it. Relationships are a part of it. But I never put women or anybody on a pedestal. I just never look at it like that. Because I didn't see that when I was growing up. When I was growing up, I saw my parents. They were like Bonnie and Clyde. They were like partners. That's what I saw. I, I didn't see my dad put my mom on a pedestal until I got older. And that's because she deserved it. But today, guys are putting women on a pedestal and they don't, and they don't even deserve it. I mean, they're putting women on a pedestal and they don't even know the woman. They're just getting to know the woman from off the top. They're putting her on a pedestal just because she looked good. Because she's cute. She got a fat ass. Maybe she got some good sex. If you make it to that point. So the game is... The game is twisted out here today. And this is why the so-called good guy have a hard time and like I always say if if your if if if, the, if your woman that you're dealing with doesn't submit to you she ain't your woman you might not like that but that's just what it is you have to give a, a woman a reason to submit to you and even and even even if you're the right guy sometimes or if you think you're worthy of a woman submitting to you, she might not be for you. Everybody ain't for you. So you shouldn't feel bad or, and you shouldn't feel offended. That's just how it is sometimes. See, because I rock with those who rock with me. I don't, um, I don't really, um, force anybody to be around me um this is why i don't get rejected today i mean i can't tell you the last time I, i've been rejected by a woman because i rock with those who rock with me so if i feel like this person if we ain't vibing i just keep it moving that's how i do it I'm not trying to trying to re reinvent the wheel. I'm not trying to negotiate and talk any woman or anybody into doing anything that they don't want to do. That's how I roll. And I have enough self-respect for myself not to even try to negotiate and talk women into being around me or being with me. Why? There's too many women out here. There's too many people out here. Now, some people will say, well, it's only one person for everybody. You know, everyone has a soulmate. That's a bunch of crap. There's no such thing as a soulmate. It's a bunch I don't believe, think about this for a second. I don't believe there's one person for there's one person for for specifically one person around the world. So so it's over seven billion people in the world. And you mean to tell me there's only one person that's specifically for you? Come on. I don't believe that. That's just something that um, somebody came up with to justify why they were single. That's all. That That's all it is. And this happens all the time in the media. Because, you know, they the media always wants to tell, make it seem like if you're single, if you don't have the success that you want, that it's not your fault. It's somebody else's fault. That's, that's, what, the, that's what the media loves to do. 
And the reason why they do that, so you can buy their products. They gotta sell on they gotta sell them products. So they'll manipulate you and millions of other people to believe that the majority of things that happens to you it's not your fault. It's somebody else's fault. Especially women. And this how they get and they all in, in, in this society especially, women don't really have to take responsibility and be accountable for anything they do. Nothing at all. And they don't have to. This is why a lot of women they don't have they don't have to behave and be on they don't have to be on good behavior. There's no incentive for them to do it. Not at all. So if you're a quote, quote, good guy, whatever that means to you, you know, I never call myself a good guy, to be honest. The only thing I say is I'm trying to be a man. That's the only thing I'm trying to be. I'm a man. I never say I'm a good guy. I let other people um judge me as far as if I'm a good guy or not, you know, I really don't care if I let them be the judge of that, but all I say is I'm, I'm a man, I'm trying to be a man 24-7, seven days a week, you know, but if you're a quote, quote, good guy, like, like I said, build yourself up, become the best version of yourself, financially, spiritually, In every way known to man, stop putting women on a pedestal. Give it a try and see what happens. And get back to me. So if you like what you heard, subscribe. Share this video. Check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.